very important Great block. block. Um, so, on this match day, West Ham winning at Everton earlier, Suchak the scorer, United beating Villa 2 1. It's not been a good day for the Grey House household, then, is it? Okay, <laughs> but then Villa getting beat. Wow. <laughs> Villa's defeat means they slip a point, uh, a place rather, and Chelsea without playing up one on. Must be goals scored because the goal difference is the same. Got to be goals scored, hasn't it? Mind you, they've done well to do better than Villa, who got seven against Liverpool, yeah. let's not forget. Tomorrow, uh, so that's Manchester United level on points at the top with Liverpool. Only one place to start, and I'm not even going to ask the question. What? Well, you two sort it out. So what? I, I don't know. Which is, I think I the penalty. Think, I think yeah, it, uh, it's just in the penalty. Uh -huh. So uh, discuss the penalty, the, the penalty from Pogba. And, uh, what was your, uh, what it was, was your view of the penalty? Well, it was quite a soft one. Mm -hmm. You know, um, of course he tripped himself, but I think in in order to trip himself, I think he was touched by Luis's feet. And we can discuss about it how we want. And of course, you know, he's smart. He's smart in this situation because. You just have to go have a little touch. You go down and, and you can get a penalty. And I think, of course, he tripped himself if you see that closely with his right foot. But before he got clo we got, got uh, tripped by himself. So just, just so I'm not I think mistaken, Luis, his feet he tripped himself. No, but he got brushed. No, you see that little brush that there? there. That That's brush. what he's, he's tripped. Is, is that, that there on his calf. Douglas Luis is, is, is not making a tackle. He's no, not no, attempting no. to make a tackle. He's really, really unlucky. But neither, in my opinion, is it a dive. I think he, he catches Douglas Luiz's leg and then it knocks it onto his, the back of his other leg there. Yeah. And that always trips you up. If you're running, we know that, we've done yeah. it. I think you've probably even done it, Richard, in your playing days. Tripped yourself up like that, so it flicks your heels. That's what's happened. It's like, you know, you used to say, someone clips your heels and you trip, yeah, yourself, you trip up. yourself up. That's what happens there. But Douglas Luiz doesn't deliberately do anything. No, no, He's no. just trying to get himself between... Uh, Paul Pogba and the so goal. Luis has not committed an offence. Well, no, he's not made a tackle. And Pogba tripped but himself inadvertently, up. Inadvertently, his leg has flipped Pogba's left leg into the back of his right leg, and that's why he's gone down. And I knew they wouldn't overturn it because they just wouldn't. And I, I, I'm guessing that if they, if he hadn't given it, I would have been fascinated to see what the reaction would have been to uh, VAR, whether they'd have told him to go and look at it again. But I, I wasn't surprised having seen that, that they didn't overturn that. I really wasn't. I, used to, I mean, I felt for Douglas Lewis, who played ever so well tonight. And all Villa players played well tonight. They, they really gave United a game tonight. Mm. And to lose it in that manner... Um, I think they're serial offenders. I, I, no team can be awarded as many penalties as Manchester United. No, no I would agree theme. with you. Uh, that an awful lot of the penalties that United have been given are for players going down... I mean, it comes Maybe to something when you trip yourself easier. up and, and you're still winning a pen. I mean, that's extraordinary. That's, I think, 34 since the beginning of last season. 27 during Solskjaer's time. Oh, well. It's so impossible. It's not impossible because it's happening. It's <laughs> but it is impossible for that it's to happen impossible. genuinely. Yeah, OK, but, you know, this is, this is also part of the game right now. Right now. That's, the, that's the loss of the, of the game that whenever you have a little brush or a little touch inside of the box, you might be, you might be get, getting a penalty for that, and we've seen that as well. It was a smart, a, a, a slight brush from Luis, and what you said as well. There was no intent. No intent, yeah, just running. And we're just running, and he clips his legs, and he goes So then down. the third option is don't award anything. As I say, I don't know what you'd have done if he hadn't awarded it. I, what I'd be, I mean, oh, I sometimes wish he hadn't awarded it because I'd love to have seen what VAR would have done. Would it have got involved? Would it have said to him, we think you've made a, a clear and obvious error? I don't know how the VAR operative would have judged that incident. Right? I can understand why Michael Oliver gave it, right? Because Paul Popa does it. When you use the words trip yourself, if his foot doesn't touch Douglas Luiz's leg, he doesn't trip himself, right? That's what I think, because mm -hmm. he's running. It's the fact that his foot catches Douglas Luiz's leg, his left foot just yeah, well, no. coming up. Yeah. And his calf, yeah. Just coming up now. Then it catches his calf, where is it? It's coming up. Anyway. Yeah, it's coming up yeah. Bear with one, us. This one, this one. There. Yeah. There it's there. Now, what I'm saying, Richard, if he do that doesn't happen, he keeps running. He doesn't go over. Mm. But that 
and, and Pogba's not even aware of it. That's the thing. Yeah. Paul Pogba's not aware of it until he, fe- he until he hits that, and then he trips himself up. But it's that leg, that trailing leg of Douglas Luiz, that's caused him to fall over. Nothing else. So I feel for I feel for Douglas Luiz in a situation like that. But I don't know what the answer would be. <laughs> Nigel, he's looking to you for support. No, I'm not looking for support. Oh, no, I, I need no support in this circumstance. I know, I know, I know. I'm listening intently to what the pair of you have to say. Yeah, okay. I mean, as soft as it is, and how unfortunate the situation is for Villa and also for Luis, because what you said, we feel for Luis, and it is a soft penalty. Nowadays, with the laws of the game, when you get tripped like that, you know you can get a penalty, and especially when we have VAR, who were not likely to overturn any penalties when it comes down to United. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. We have to accept it, and of course it is soft, but it is a penalty. How many times, how many times, Nigel, we've seen a, a situation, let me give you another situation, the same thing happens. How many times we've seen a player, a forward go bursting through, and the defender's chasing him, and they go across each other, right? The defender's not trying to make a tackle, but the forward knows, I'm getting across him, because if he clips me, He's going to trip me up. How many times have you seen players sent off for that? It happens all the time. That, but that, that wasn't a good across, but it, that's what happened. It was a clipping of his legs. He tripped himself. I've seen it many times. You have, you have. Mm-hmm. You know, you go across the front of a defender. I was always taught that as a front man because if, you, if he catches you, then it's, it trips you up and you get a foul or he gets sent off or whatever. And, and that's what happened in that situation. And it was unlucky. It really was unfortunate for Douglas. Pogba, Fernandez, Villa. Martial, Rashford. No, yes. no, no, there have been some iffy ones along those 27. I, I agree with you. Some? 100%. I agree with you. There's been some real iffy ones. There's no doubt about that. But I think it's an issue. I really do. And I think there's a lot of people who will agree with me. Mm-hmm. And I think that it is, it, is, it is certainly worthy now of closer examination and referees being more aware. Well, you and only think... by talking about it will that be the case. They're supposed to be professional more than ever, right? So you would think when they have their meetings... Uh, every month or every week or whatever, however long it is, they, they would say, "Listen, guys, um, you know we got we need to be careful. We need to be sure these penalties that were given to whatever team, Liverpool, were maybe guilty last year. We, we talked about it often, like you know pl- players going down too easily at, at, uh, at Liverpool, just with a brush and off they would go. But it's what every player does, and Nigel plays in the modern mm-hmm. game still. You, you know, you only have to touch a player now." And they feel it, and they're going to the ground and giving referees a terrible problem. Mm. Seen, what he said, we, see, we, we have seen it already for, for so many times. So it is, well, that's it is what it is. 58 seconds, I think, after Aston Villa had got themselves yeah. back into the game with an equaliser at the other end, Grealish inspired. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, they take a quick free kick. <laughs> I, think, I think they were sleeping here, United's defence, and especially when they have somebody's in front of the ball here. At this moment, you just have to reset your whole defence again. I mean, one Bissaka's too much... <laughs> Concentrated or blocking the ball instead of going back in this position, and of course, like this is a this is sloppy letting the ball go through. But I mean, you know, Villa was still in it. We said it at half time, and then we really gave the you know, this situation right here. Go back in your position because you know you can't let the most dangerous men mm. at Villa side getting the ball at that side because you know he's going to deliver. Good finish because I think uh, when you talk about a player going to cross him. I don't know who is it. Is it Douglas Luiz comes running in and he misses the ball? Yeah. But Troy was sound with his first touch and made all the difference. The one thing we'd annoyed, I, I, you know, Dean Smith more than anything, this is the first goal, would be that Villa were only 58 seconds level mm. before they lost a penalty. They got a, I don't know whether they subconsciously had just switched off for a minute. I don't know. And this is a decent ball in, a decent header from, from Anthony Marshall again. I, I'm not sure about the centre back. I think he he lost his footing. If yeah. you look at the replay, look look closely. You look at the replay when he's. You when think he's he would have dealt with it if he had he lost stopped, his yeah, footing? Yeah, yeah. He lost his footing a little bit. He's slipping a little bit because he came with both feet in the same position instead of like one feet backwards and his twenty feet forwards. Look, when the ball comes now at this moment, stop. Oh, you see? Yeah. Because normally he has to deal with that, especially first post. And what I said as well in the, after the first half, he anticipated this ball because the cross was coming. He knew that, there was, that the ball was going back towards uh, Marshall. So, so these two wins, with these two wins we've just seen, right? last two days, Wolves, Gritty, won a game, maybe mm-hmm. they, maybe we couldn't have done. This one again tonight, another game we could have dropped points. Are we, are we, uh, are we seeing a, 
new United that we've seen a, a, a different United? May I interrupt before you answer the yes, question? Yes, of course. Of course. Perhaps course. that's a very good point that um, should be made to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Mm -hmm. Ollie, we saw the players to uh, two extra points if uh, if we uh, lost, if we concede a goal towards the end. Eric, of course, it's a fantastic block he makes at the end. Uh, to be fair, I, did, I didn't enjoy the last 10 minutes that much because I, I think we should have seen the game out in a better way. It seemed like it was a cup final or a last game of the season. So we need to learn how to play out games better when when we're in the lead. We've, we've shown that when we're... Uh, chasing a goal we've, uh, we're capable of doing that making chances I think uh, it's always going to be a physical game we know that uh, they've improved massively and they give us uh, some uh, some challenges and uh, there was a, a few times in, the, in that box that you were a bit worried we didn't stop the crosses well enough because when they put crosses in the box they're always dangerous but we uh, made some fantastic blocks some saves uh, delighted with the three points over First, keep playing as they did today, get on the ball, uh, link with, with the players and be in, in between the posts. It's had chances all season. And maybe his, uh, his confidence has had a knock a little bit earlier with the sending off and uh, some niggles he's had. But now he's, uh, he's firing uh, and he's, he's getting better and better. And, uh, obviously, you, you're never happy with, you know, when you concede a goal. and. When you can see the free kick, just get back on the right side, organise straight away. You can't uh, open up the passing lanes, that's for sure. It's getting better and better, getting fitter and fitter. And uh, I think uh, he played well today. today. Sometimes, you know, they are a physical side. They are very, the game was, there was loads of challenges, one, one against ones. And, and Paul's one of these boys that can hold players off and get hold of it for us. Maybe you, not just Paul, we were too keen on playing the killer pass because we know they're going to drop off and there's other spaces than in behind them that we should have used. And don't don't get me wrong, I'm delighted with three points and uh, very happy with the performance, uh, but there's always things that we need to improve on and uh, it's early on in the season and we, we shouldn't be uh, too carried away uh, with with three points and like it's not it's not a cup final yet but those two points extra they are important we've improved we are getting better and I think this, the league and the season is going to be so tight anyway uh, there's going to be different and difficult uh, games there's going to be strange results we've just got to keep working and improving as a team we've done that since uh, well since Project Restart started, I think we've been a very consistent team. Yeah, every time you win a game, of course, you uh, you take one step further, and uh, it's three points. You, or in total, you just got to accumulate the, the points. Uh, the first game is just as important as the last game uh, of the season, so they all count the same. I've not started thinking about that. We, we've got a big game on Wednesday against City here on at Old Trafford, so. There's so many games you can't think uh, four days ahead, really, <laughs> because it's just something round the corner. Always difficult, of course, but um, I, I don't think it's early in the season. I think we're approaching the halfway, halfway. mark. <laughs> so, <laughs> time to catch up, Ollie. But nevertheless, yeah. United go level on points with Liverpool tonight. Uh, thank you to Nigel. Yes. Aaron Will played. Um, felt like a felt like a big win that against obviously a very good Aston Villa team. Yeah, you know, every every game that we win is important to us, you know, and it's a step closer. And obviously you were involved in that first goal. Um, I mean, is that something you've, again, been working on, that, that side of your, your game? Yeah, you know, broken crosses. yeah, you know, just to, to get forward and have a product up there. That's what the coaches want and that's what they're helping them to do. Decent header from, uh, from Anthony as well. Yeah, it was, yeah. And obviously Villa had their, had their chances as well. I mean, a tough side to play. Yeah, you know, the counter-attacks, uh, but, you know, as a back four, you know, we stayed compact and the two in front of us, they were solid, so that helped us out. It's disappointing but to equalise, but how important was it that we went ahead pretty much straight away after after that setback? It's important, you know, because we go off that and to uh, go and get more goals. And Paul won the uh, won the penalty. How, how good was his performance, you think, in uh, in midfield tonight? His performance was great, you know. Overall, the team performance was as well, as you can see. We got the result. You still, obviously, after the penalty went in, there's still a bit of time to go. Um, but everyone was throwing themselves at the ball. Blocks all over the place. Eric with a key block at the end there as well. It seemed to be a real a real team effort. Yeah, you know, that's one of the key moments, you know, at the end when you're quite tired. 
you know, just to put the body on the line. You know, but, you know, that's something that everyone's committed to do and shown out there. You know, uh, we're happy for Eric, you know, that moment at the end, big moment that, you know, that could have went another way. So that was good for him. I know no one's getting carried away, but we're obviously starting the year now joint top, which is a terrific position to be in. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a good position to be, you know, but we should just take every game step by step and see what it leads. A well played tonight. Thank well you. played, mate. Hang on to Eric. By the end there, just showed you what this victory meant, I think, for everybody. No, I think we are, we are building something important. We know that uh, the most important for us is building a team. Building, building a group of, of players who, who take care of each other, you know. And today was Eric, before was Davi saving that ball. Uh, in other situations, other players. But the main thing is the group have to be, has to be together. And as I see in the stands, the last two, three minutes, everyone shouting and you know, hoping to, to don't concede the goal and to take care of the ball, you know. Um, everyone wants the three points. Everyone wants that, that win, and this is what about. We have to to build this more and more. I think was was tough, but uh, we have to learn from here, and also from the Leicester game, we have to do much better. We have some situations to close the game. You have to you have to close. You have to try to score um, because you know you know the teams can 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 score, can doing something, can building good good. Uh, Good open plays, uh, set plays, everything. And so, if you if you close the game early, if you if you score, it's it's better. It's better because they will open a little bit more, give you more space to you to play, and you have to you have to enjoy and and take care of that that this that time they give you to play. At one one, of course, it's kind of an open game. How important was it to get that second goal so quickly after they equalised? Of course, if you if you get quickly, it's, it's good for your mind because you know as one one. If you keep going and going and going, you, you take you you keep you become more nervous and nervous. Start to missing passes, start doing more mistakes. So getting that goal so so quick was was really good for us. Paul won the penalty. Um, was that one of his, his his best performances in the midfield? Do you think? Tonight? I think I think today Paul was was top was top. In the first goal, he makes a, a good a good skill. He comes he comes off from from a player so easily. Uh, but we all know the, the qualities he has. Uh, I think he's no he's not in doubt. I hope I hope he's not. I think I hope his people is not in doubt uh, on the qualities of Paul because we know he can he can play he can help us he can he can really good, play really well and today he did it he was in both goals uh, in the penalty you see one of the best he can do cover the ball and going away from from his player and I think he will will give more and more and more with with the confidence coming coming game after game 2020 was a great year for you what a, what a good start for 2021 for you with the winner Perfect start, three points. So we have to look forward now to, to keep doing well. We have another competition to play and we want to be in the final. So now time to recover, take the energy back to us and try to, to win that game. Well done. Thank you.